And Dave again here with another question bank question in D5. We're looking at uh, cosmology and the expanding universe. Uh, we want to describe the observational evidence in support of the idea that the universe is expanding. Uh, and that is that uh, when we observe the light from distant galaxies, so when we observe the wavelength of light from distant galaxies, they all appear redshifted, indicating that they're moving away. Uh, indicating expansion. Uh, to find the term critical density of the universe, uh, this is the density at which the universe Uh, is the density at which the universe's expansion will slow asymptotically uh, such that the universe approaches a fixed maximum size. So the universe will continue growing forever, but not infinitely. Uh, and it won't reverse either. So we wind up with, you know, a nice size universe eventually. It doesn't come back together and collapse, and it doesn't expand forever and rip itself apart. Uh, and that only happens at the critical density, uh, where the gravitational forces are just perfectly balanced uh, with the rate of expansion. Uh, discuss the significance of comparing the density of the universe to the critical density for determining the future of the universe. So the density of the universe will determine its future and gives us insight into the universe's past. Uh, if the universe has a density greater, than the critical density, uh, then the universe is going to come back together. Uh, it'll pull itself back into the opposite of a Big Bang, the Big Crunch. Uh, alternatively, a lower density will result in the heat death of the universe. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to approach infinite size. Uh, all the energy gets spread out over larger and larger and larger areas. Uh, not ignore. Uh, such that the energy density of the universe approaches zero. Uh, it's like a big freeze. Um, and at the same time, all particles get further and further and further apart, such that until the point where every particle is, is infinitely far away from every other particle. Uh, so not only can you not get from anywhere to anywhere, you can't gather enough energy to attempt it anyway. Uh, so both cases are examples of deaths of the universe. Either it all crashes back together dramatically or it all slowly spreads out and becomes nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, well, maybe I'll leave you with that thought. Coincidentally, this happens to be the last video that uh, I am making for the time being. So a nice, sad, uh, <laughs> sort of philosophical thought to leave you with. Uh, how are our remains going to uh, disappear from our plane of being. A big crash or a slow fade.